What we're going to see today in particular is really kind of pressure on the mega caps, right? So Magnificent 7 in particular, you're going to see some pressure on NVIDIA and AMD and Microsoft and Google today. The Russell small cap will probably continue to get some rotational trade today. And so here's what you need to know before the bell this morning. Futures are pointing down fairly sharply this morning. Now, I wouldn't read a lot into that, but, um, you know, just... It's just, this market's just kind of been on fire for the last few days. Just kind of keep grinding higher. You're going to have to have a correction here at some point. So futures pointing down a little bit weaker this morning. Not any real headline data right now to drive that to any great degree. But again, we are get fairly deviated above moving averages. As we've talked about before, markets are overbought on multiple levels. So you just need a bit of a pullback here towards that 20-day moving average. So, you know, potentially right now about 50, 55.10 on the S&P 500 is a potential kind of test of that 20-day moving average. So again, maybe a day or two of a correction wouldn't be outside the realm. Uh, what we're going to see today in particular is really kind of pressure on the mega caps, right? So the, the Magnificent 7 in particular, you're going to see some pressure on NVIDIA and AMD and Microsoft and Google today. Um, the, the Russell small cap will probably continue to get some rotational trade today. It, it looks to be down right now. No, no, we're still early, right? It's 6.15 in the morning right now. So, you know, we're still a long way from market open. But right now, futures are pointing lower across most indices. But again, small caps are going to hold up better than large caps today. Again, and that's really kind of been the case over the last couple of days. Even though the S&P continues to kind of grind higher, it's been underperforming relative to small caps, but that's just this, this kind of underlying transition that's occurring, this rotation in the markets. And we've talked about this for a while, is that we're gonna see this rotation. And so we're seeing some rotation out of these Magnificent Seven into areas like utilities and real estate. And that's been pretty much a function of declining yields, which we have seen a fairly sharp decline in yields over the last couple of days in particular. And again, we, we are establishing a very nice trend now in lower yields. So again, just from a technical perspective on yields, so no matter what your outlook is on interest rates and what you think inflation is going to do, et cetera, the trend of interest rates is now confirming lower. We have a period of, of lower highs. We have a period of lower lows, and we're continuing to work that. We've broken through mo all the major moving averages now to the downside. We came up and retested support here recently, or resistance. That resistance held. Now we've moved down, broken through support levels, and we're starting to kind of a base here at new lows. So again, you know, uh, uh, we, we've seen this before, and again, yields are getting fairly oversold. Now remember, yields are the inverse of price. So if yields are going down, bond prices are going up, but yields are getting fairly oversold right now, which is overbought on, on the bond price side. So things are getting a little bit overbought. So expect to see, you know, again, probably another period where we see rates come up here a little bit. Um, keep working in this trend of just that kind of this grind lower in yields as we start moving towards that first Fed rate cut in, in September. So again, just it's not going to go straight down. It's going to be a bounce, but we're trending in the right direction for lower yields, and that's going to be supportive for, a lot, for areas like utilities, real estate, interest rate sensitive sectors of the markets. So that's what you need to know before the bell this morning.